part of what I wanted to say I couldn't deliver I didn't know any way doesn't it? And it's just us, just the two of us embarrassing ourselves. We're, we're 16, it's just sad. You haven't kissed anyone. I've kissed three boys. This is our problem, which is not cool. Or is it? We're just too hot. <laughs> I'm serious, guys. We never get invited to parties. People don't say hi to us in the corridors. And lately, sometimes people even call me a geek to my face. And for what? Hello, I'm Sophia Jessica and welcome to the Fan Carpet. Hello, my name is Aoife and I'm from the Fan Carpet. Great to see you today. So tell me, you're both young actors. What have you found sort of the most challenging thing about becoming an actor and getting to this level which you're at? I think it's tough for everyone. You know, there's so many people wanting to do it and it's so much a combination of luck and being in the right place at the right time. You just need to be resilient and persevere with that. Exactly, and yourself? I think one of the most challenging things is definitely the rejection and dealing with that because yeah. sometimes you, you'd go for like an audition and you'd really think you've done well, you've done loads of research leading up to it and then you just never hear back and it's it's quite disheartening but you've got to learn to kind of get through that and just go on to the next thing really but it is kind of, it's challenging to get to that point. Well yeah but you just got to know that maybe you weren't suitable for the role they were because often they have like a picture on their head of what they want the character to be like but with regards to this movie, what do you think it teaches kind of young people about, you know, coming of age and, you know, the struggles that people face at this kind of time in life? I think they show that it is awkward for everyone. And everyone yeah. has a pretty awful time of it. Um, but I think particularly Maisie, she's got so much self-belief. You know, she can say totally the wrong thing and she still has confidence in herself. And I think that's a really great thing for young people to have and to see. Exactly. And yourself? Yeah, I agree. I think it's it just shows it's a very awkward time for everybody that, that goes through this and it's a very relatable film because everyone that watches no matter what age you are you'll be like oh I remember going through that and I think it just shows that you weren't alone going through that kind of thing and what would you say out of the movie was your favourite thing was it the people or just like any sort of scenes or absolutely the people yeah. it was such a great cast and crew I think it was wonderful yeah that's where to find you know what I mean isn't it and yourself yeah it was really nice. I was definitely one of the youngest by far there, but everyone was so sweet and so like welcoming. And I remember playing Salvania on the floor with you and drinking water from a bowl right at the beginning of my first day when I was so nervous. But it's definitely the people. They were all really, really lovely and welcoming. Yeah, and what do you have kind of coming up? Or can you say, or are you just kind of seeing how it goes? You've got more exciting stuff. <laughs> what is it? I kind of, I move more towards music now. So I sing and and I'm currently writing my own EP that's coming out in summer, but so I'm just focusing on that really. That's brilliant. Yeah, I do a bit of singing in the church choir myself, you know. <laughs> and have you signed with someone, or you're kind of looking to kind of sort that? Is it? Not yet. I'm. It's very hard industry, obviously. So I'm trying to just start off as like low as I can, work like just force myself into the industry however I can and work my way up there. But I'm I'm building a portfolio so I can just surprise everyone on with it to be like hey I've actually done this this is it and then hopefully it'll go somewhere but fingers crossed well listen it'd be easier if we went out and became a nurse or something but the creative world is what we love so anyway thank you very much I'm looking forward to see us on the future right thank you thank you bye bye thank you thank you for watching the fan carpets please follow us on Facebook Twitter and Instagram for more content next time Long toilet key. I know. Actually, alcohol inhibits the chemical in the kidneys that cause the reabsorption of water from the loop of Henley, so that if you drink more, you get more liquid passing through your body, and um, basically, people pee more at parties and stuff. Oh. <laughs>
the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca. With the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels, it's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.